Hello everyone. So today's video is your most challenging symptom. And that varies by the day, the time of day, different things like that, as to what's causing the most issues. Uh, right, one thing right now, my hips are acting up and as I've discussed in previous videos and we're trying to figure that out. But I think probably the most challenging symptom for my doctors to figure out is the one I'm going to go into more here right now. Um, to start with, as a teenager, I started getting really lightheaded and stuff if I'd fast. And my dad finally said, nope, I'm not letting you fast anymore. Um, something's going on and I'm not going to allow you to. Then later on, a number of years later, I was at work and I started losing feeling in my finger. And so I went to work comp for it, workers' compensation. And they said, it's not due to work. You've got diabetes. You've got a diabetic history in your family. You've got diabetes. We're sure of it. We're going to prove it. So they sent me in for a glucose tolerance test. And they did a five-hour glucose tolerance test because they were so positive this is what was going on. At the end of the five hours, I was so bad, I had to go straight into the ER. The ER doc took a look and put things together, and he immediately ordered sugar and so like a... Uh, fruit drink and some crackers for me to eat and said, take this now. I suspect I know what that test is going to show. He got the results back. He said, we only have the results through hour three. Usually it takes till hour five, but I don't even need that. I know exactly what's going on. You were back at your fasting blood sugar level before the one hour mark. And they only took it at before at an hour, two hours, three hours, so we don't know where in there I dropped. And he said, within five years, you'll probably be diabetic, but you aren't right now, and the problem that the workers' comp was trying to insist was wrong. You are hypoglycemic. It has nothing to do with your finger, losing finger. It's because of the tools you're using at work and stuff like that, because they were ones that vibrated a lot. So workers comp finally had to accept it was them. Down the road, wasn't five years, wasn't 10 years. Um, about 20 years after the diagnosis, I started noticing I was having a little bit more trouble controlling my blood sugars. Mm -hmm. And I asked my doctor about a continuous, continuous glucose monitor in order to be able to hopefully try and catch it earlier to prevent becoming diabetic. And he agreed to do that. Uh, within a couple months after that, my blood glucose we was getting worse and worse. We were having more trouble keeping it up. And eventually it hit the point where it would take a huge meal of almost pure sugar to be able to raise my blood glucose for five minutes to about 125. Usually you should be able to raise it to at least that for a lot longer. 120, 125, something like that. So he started, he sent me to an endocrinologist. The endocrinologist looked at the test and said, something's wrong. Ran a bunch of tests. A couple, couple weeks later said, nothing's wrong. You're normal. There's nothing wrong with you. And my doctor's like, no, nah, something's wrong. This is not normal. At the same time, I was getting to the point I couldn't exercise. It had outlawed exercise. And I was struggling to stay awake even for an hour or two a day. And he knew it was due to the blood sugar. And the endocrinologist had said, maybe it's GI. So I go into the GI doctor. In between, I was diagnosed with EDS. The GI doctor said, it's not due to EDS. And there's no way, or I don't care about your blood sugars. It has nothing to do with GI stuff. Went back to my primary care. My primary care said, fine, we got to figure out what's going on. And I suggested an internist because they cover both. 
and both were saying it's the other person. And he said, okay, find someone who knows what they're doing, if at all possible, because you have a bit more access to people, and let's find out. So I got in with one that I found. My doctor um, did the referral, got in with him, and he actually started me on ZenPet because I'd tried digestive enzymes in the meantime, and it had helped some. So he started me on ZenPet. It did amazing and was actually the answer. So now that my doctor, my primary care doctor, is calling it pancreatic insufficiency. They don't know why, and no one ever has, a re has found a reason specifically, but we know it works. And so that's probably the most challenging symptom the doc for me that the doctors have had to try and figure out what the heck's going on. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.